Uh, I was in the second car, luckily, uh, but uh, I usually am at the back of the second car, but because there were a lot of people today, I had to be at the front of the second car. And uh, since the train went into the platform, we were all thrown off. Our How, Bagash, on the Bagash so you were in the second car. You normally take uh -huh. this train. When you were making your way into the station, how fast was the train going? Did it seem normal? It was actually at the usual speed. It just didn't stop. Just didn't slow down. You know? uh, a usual speed. Generally from Sikorkas to Hoboken, the trains are not that fast. You know, it, it's a short distance. It, it still takes 12 minutes because I don't know why, but the trains are never as fast. And the train was, you know, at this usual speed, but it did not slow down. It did not break at all. So for you, there was nothing alarming until the train didn't stop. And when the train didn't yes. stop, what exactly happened? So we felt it, you know, we were thrown off our feet. We were on the floor uh, and it went on. Like it, it felt like it's going through something, you know, uh, it, it's forcing its way to something. And we were feeling the shuddering and uh, the lights went off and uh, the next thing I know, I have a, a roof column next to me. It was two feet from me. Uh, I could, when I got up, I could see the first car was completely uh, broken down from up. And the, the, I didn't know what happened. I thought something, you know, uh, we had an accident with another train. That's what my first initial thought was. But when I saw that we were on the platform, then I realized the roof had collapsed on the first car. Hey, Gash, how did you get out of the train? So there were people, uh, it was commotion initially, but there were some calm heads there. They talked us down. I was scared. Uh, and then they opened the window, uh, the emergency window, and we jumped out of it. You uh, jumped out of the window. Now, we know 20 to 30 people were injured. Could you see people in that car with you who were injured? In my car, luckily, only one guy was bleeding, uh, but he was fine. He was walking. So I'm assuming that he, he had some injury to his head. But uh, I saw a lot of people, uh, bloody faces. I saw one woman who was pinned under uh, the roof. She was actually probably thrown out of the car and she was on the floor and she was pinned under the roof. So uh, eight, nine people, they gathered around and they picked up the thing. It was very heavy. I think it was concrete. She was pinned under and they pushed her out, pulled her out.